Arrington Racing Engines, and we're here with Joe Arrington. Appreciate you being on the show. I know you're a busy man, uh -huh. uh, even on the off season here. Yeah. But uh, appreciate you being on the show. And uh, I guess we'll just start at the beginning. You, uh, you're born in Virginia, born and raised. Yeah, yeah, born on a farm, and 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 lived on a farm until my mom and dad decided they won't. They were not farmers, so they moved to the big city of Martinsville and <laughs> worked in a, a furniture factory, knit mill, until he he finally found a job in a Plymouth dealerships dealership which by most people that's familiar with Martinsville know that area it's a bowling alley now called Sport Lanes well that, that building started out life as a Plymouth dealership wow and then right across the road was a at the at the time was a Amoco gas station and it had uh, three stalls and that's sort of where I grew up at in that gas station and then, Literally, as in, in the gas, right, no, I get you. <laughs> yeah. And then um, as time moved on, uh, the gas station, uh, uh, my dad tried the dealership stuff himself in Rocky Mount there for a couple of years, and then he went back to the gas station. And uh, I continued to pump gas. And then in, somewhere in the 70s, there was a fourth bay added on, and that's where the race car stayed. Otherwise, it sat outside during the day and then rolled inside at night. You hear that, you young fans? You the car was outside, and we, and they pumped your gas for you. <laughs> yep, yep. Check your oil, clean your windshield, and uh, sold a wiper blade or two. Sold and... a wiper blade or two, and a headlight, a, a tail light bulb. I mean, it went on and on. And you know, if you if it rolled in there and it had one eye, you knew it needed something <laughs> else. So. But uh, that's how it all got started. So so. I'm sure your dad ran locally. We're going to kind of jump maybe to NASCAR a bit. I mean, you can talk about the local stuff if you want. Did your dad run locally, or did he just jump into the big time? Well, 1964, NASCAR was local. Very true. Uh, you know, it was a touring series, yes. But it was dirt tracks. It was a little 3 eighths miles. It was, you know, and you had Daytona, Darlington, Charlotte, when he started in 64, 63. And that was it for a speed, Atlanta for his speedways. Um, but he never run the short tracks there locally, you know, Franklin County, Virginia, uh, Caraway in Carolina, South Boston. You know, when he seen those racetracks, he was, he was in a grand national car at the time. You figure I'm going big or go home, right? <laughs> well, you know, the, the, I don't, I'm not sure about that. You know, he just, it was like, I just don't know. I never asked, you know, it just, he, he, uh, somewhere along the line, um, when he was in the, had the Dodge dealership, he had won a promotional trip through Dodge to go to a race somewhere. And he met Cotton Owens. And that's sort of how he got his start. He bought his first car from Cotton. And then, um, actually the first race he went to, in I think it's Jacksonville, Florida, uh, David Pearson wrecked Cotton's car in practice, and Cotton borrowed the car back from, from Daddy and run that race, and I think it finished second. Wow. Championship years, if I'm not mistaken, right? 65, 66-ish yeah. mm -hmm. in there? Mm -hmm. for, for them. For yeah. them, right. Okay. So anyway, just, just little tidbits of stuff that really was, it's not in the books anywhere. It's right. just, just how, <laughs> how, how you got from, from Saturday afternoon to Sunday afternoon in the racing world. Well, you, I believe you were born in 55, 56, yeah. so you were not even, you know, a decade old yet, but I'm sure you were, I mean, you're, you know, changing brake, you know, I'm sure bearings, and I'm sure you were, you know, I don't know if you were doing anything on the engines yet, or I'm sure you were working on that, not only the passenger stuff, but the racing stuff. Well, I mean, you know, I, I, I put my share of gas and washed, washed a lot of cars and changed a lot of oil. <laughs> and, you know, and actually I, I built my first <laughs> engine <clears throat> not successfully, <laughs> probably junior in high school. Wow, okay. And then uh, when I was graduating high school was the end of the of the 426 Hemi. So I was I was fortunate, unfortunate to have to pick those parts up. But 
<laughs> but I built a few of those in 74, and then that's when NASCAR was transitioning over to small blocks. Small blocks, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway. Maybe you can talk a little bit about that Hemi. I mean, we're talking, wow, well, lightning in a bottle with that thing, huh? My goodness. Well, today it is. You know, back, back then, you know, racing engines was no more than, uh, I hate to use the word blueprinted, but it was, it was basically the parts come from Detroit, and, and you massaged them the best you knew how at that time and went to Darlington on Sunday. I mean, that's just <laughs> the way it was. Um, and you crossed your fingers. <laughs> so, I, you know, I can, re I can remember when I was small going, doing the, the tour, you know, with, with daddy and they'd go run like Maryville, Tennessee on a Friday night and they'd run somewhere on a Saturday night and they'd end up in Nashville, Tennessee on a Sunday and rolling in Nashville at, they always had a, you know, Nashville had a tunnel that went underneath turn two, and they had a little creek out out front with full of mosquitoes. And you know, <laughs> I, at that time I was in the way, so I'd go play with the mosquitoes and and the, and Harry Hyde with the seventy one car, and and the Petties would be sitting there close close to the creek, and they'd have the oil pans off the engines changing bearings, you know, because wow. back then they were wet sump motors, and you mm -hmm. know, you just that was, that was part of the maintenance to to make it through the next race, so. Are you going back? And I'm sure you've heard this question before. <laughs> Millions of times, yes, I'm going back, 4th of July, if I'm able, and, uh, I'm looking forward to getting back here at Martinsville to run this race. This is my first race since I had my accident. First time I've been in a car. So, here your dad's driving. You're surrounded by, you know, all these different type of, um, you know, occupations, you know, owner, driver, you know, mechanic, engine builder, you know, I mean, and not like anything was specialized, but, you know, we have, you know, shock specialists and, you know, engine yeah. tuner, but when did it hit you? You know, you said you built your first engine in high school, which would have made you, what, 13, 14-ish, 15-ish? Well, I would, I would have been 15. So, I want to be an engine builder. I don't want to be a driver. When did that kind of hit you? No, it was... Or it was just I did everything and I happened to get into engines. Well, look, no, it was it really pretty simple, you know, everybody. You know, that you just really didn't have specialists at the time, you know, the bigger teams they had uh, engine people and you had car people. And that was sort of it. And then of course a crew chief was in there. Uh, but um I I sort of like building motors. I sort of drifted that away, but I've done all the other stuff also. But um, you got to taste everything. <laughs> yeah, and then I tried driving, and I didn't like it. So it was it was it wasn't me. So I just I just didn't you know I tried it those few times, and you know it was there was a couple re you know, not more than a couple you know I I sort of wasn't comfortable doing it. Um, I sort of the ones that I raced was there and I enjoyed some of the tracks and some of them were, was miserable. You know, <laughs> Martinsville was one of them miserable. You could, you're so busy, you know, uh, <laughs> Dover, you were busy. And, you know, I remember those North Wilkesboro, you were busy, but you know, when I, I went to Michigan, you know, the long straightaways and big wide corners and stuff like that, to me, it was like, this is fun. Mm -hmm. And I can, you know, I can remember the, uh, at that time, Dover and Michigan was back to back and it took me, Took me um, weeks to get my neck straightened back up because you oh, know back yeah. then it was the four neck straps and all that stuff and I was all hung over like this and locked locked position and it took a while to get it straightened back out. But uh, anyway, that's how it sort of unfolded. The, the driving just was not my. Mm -hmm. Which seems more like and sometimes it looked like because you got I believe it's nine or ten starts and your first was seventy four if I'm not mistaken. But you know some of those you look like you ran the whole race, but others you you know you'd run a few laps and. Lack of a better way to put it, start and park. I mean, there's you know, the big start, discussion is now, but you know, back then. You know, if you, if you go back to 2011, 12, 13, start and park was a, 
was uh, you know, a topic. Mm -hmm. um, Almost a bad word. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and it was. I mean, so, But it's been going on forever. But it's been going on for a long time. Yeah, yeah. So and, it's and, just what you had to do to survive, or maybe NASCAR asked you, "Hey, pull that backup we, car out." You know, that, and this is part of it. You know, if you if you look at those stats and you go back and look at that stuff, and you say, "Well, they run five laps, or thirteen laps, or or fifty, or whatever it may be," you also need to go back and look at the purse, and you got three hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And then if you run all day and finish twelfth, you got six hundred dollars. <laughs> so, you know, it it's um, you know from a business standpoint. It didn't take a redneck from Virginia long to figure out, you know, 300 from six is, and then you got tire bills on top of that, and uh, this doesn't work. But, yeah. uh, you know, we all, we had to make a living, and um, and then for me, you know, it was, a, it was a way to sort of get my feet wet to to figure out what I wanted to do, you know, and, you know, I really wasn't good at anything, I just, <laughs> you know, I had to do a little bit of everything to make it all move forward, so. Well, your best finish is the twelfth. Some guys don't even have that. Yeah, so. well, <laughs> yeah it's, it's just, you know, it's, uh, you know, like like I said, the, the 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 engine part of it, I sort of took to it, and and uh, that's just where I, where I ended up. 